As you know, I'm Kainton the Tech Pro, and today I'm going to show you how to create a database in MongoDB. Now I have MongoDB GUI called MongoDB Compass, and I have about four databases in it. I already explained how to set up Compass and how to install MongoDB in your system. So today let's just create a Spring application that is going to connect to MongoDB uh, server and create automatically create uh, our, data, our database tables uh, in MongoDB. So let's just do that. It's a Spring application. And so I'm going to go to File, New, and go to Spring Starter Project. Now, if you are joining me for the first time, please hit on the subscribe button. I'm going to call this application MongoDB App, and I'm going to give it a group I, a group name of uh, com.kindsandgenius at MongoDB App. MongoDB App is the artifact, and it's MongoDB data application. So I'm going to click on Next. Now, this is very important. You need to select Spring Data Mongo. Spring Data Mongo. Uh, Data Mongo. So that is the, uh, the, the NoSQL dependency you need to select. Now, don't add Spring Data JPA because that's a mistake some people used to make. So click on Next and just click on Finish. So it's very easy and I want to recommend try to learn how to Use MongoDB how to create databases in MongoDB. I already made it a, a lesson before now on how to create, set up MongoDB, install it, install the Compass. The Compass is the GUI application, which is this one you are looking at currently, and how to run the command uh, line um, commands to create a database in MongoDB. So now our application is set up. So what I'm going to do at this point, uh, let's create a uh, Let's, let's go to SRC main Java and simply in the base package, let's just do everything in the base package. Let's just create a class and call it customer. So customer is going to kind of represent our entity. So let me call it customer and I'm going to say finish. So this customer is going to have ID, first name and last name. I would have actually uh, used Lombok, but um, I think we can go this way. So I'm going to say uh, integer, let me just public uh, string id public uh, string first name and public string last name. Let's just keep it simple because I'm just trying to show you how to create the connection. And it's super easy. And at this point, let's just create two constructors. So just right click and go to source here and go to generate a constructor using fields and generate. You also actually need one more constructor that is a default constructor. I'm going to just type it in public customer. So that is a default constructor, uh, which is no argument constructor. And I'll also like to generate maybe um, a to string method. So I'm going to say runners. Sorry, I'm going to say source. And uh, maybe let's start with the getters and setters. So select all and generate the getters and the setters. And finally, now all these ingredients I'm adding now, you can actually get them done for you automatically using Lombok. Uh, I've already talked about this in another lesson. So I'm going to just generate. All right. So I'm going to save everything. So we have our entity called customer. Now, if you are using MongoDB, you don't have to annotate with at entity annotation, but you, however, should annotate the ID with at ID annotation, which comes from javax.persistence. Uh, comes from, okay, this is an annotation. Okay, no, no problem. So we have our customer. So how do we now connect to MongoDB? Well, we need a repository. So the first thing we, we are going to do, let's create a repository. Now pay attention that this repository is going to be an interface and we are going to call it customer repository. Now this is a naming convention. You need to have the name of your entity and then the, the, the attached with repository. And now it's going to extend uh, Mongo repository. It's going to extend Mongo repository. So you're going to say, extends mongo repository and 
the data type is going to be student and the ID type is string. Remember the ID, the ID is a string data type. So this is the ID type and then this is the class type. Oh, is it is this customer or student? So it's gonna be customer. All right, so I'm gonna save everything and I'm going to extend, so, so extend, so that's a typo. Mongo repository comes from a spring framework that they had at mongo.repository and that is fine. Customer comes from a uh, customer, that is fine. So I'm gonna save everything. So we now have our repository. Now before, now when you are working with JPA repository where you have Hibernate, you have to remember you annotate the, the, the repository class with as repository annotation. And also you have to um, create the application properties file and then insert some connection. But now take note that we are not going to do all this. It's going to simply connect magically. After now, I'm going to now go into details on how to insert data and query the data. For now, we are going to just insert some test data. So I'm going to go back to the Mongo application, the main class. So I'm going to make this application uh, implement command line runner so that when it starts up, it's going to run some commands and install, insert some data. So let me make my application extends uh, command line, sorry, implement, implements command line runner. Okay, so in this case, when the application starts up, it's going to run some commands, and command line runner comes from uh, of the Spring Framework that boots. So let me just import the namespace. All right, MongoDB application. So now I'm going to uh, add the unimplemented methods right here. So I'm going to just say add. So you need to write the code for the run. So when this application runs, what do we want to do? we want to actually insert some customers into the database. So um, so let's create two customers and then insert them into the database, okay? We're gonna create two customers and insert them into the database. So I'm gonna say, to create a new customer, so I'm gonna say uh, customer C1 is equal to new customer and specify ID of one kind first name kind son. Okay, so this I don't know if I'm getting it. So customer requires a string, string, string. So actually gonna uh, put this in quotes. Okay, so let me create maybe two more customers or three more customers. So I'm gonna just copy and paste, paste, paste. So create three more customers. So this is gonna be C2, this is gonna be C3, and this is gonna be C4. Let's change the IDs to two, three, and four. So uh, let's say Saffron, let's just put random names. And then, uh, all right, so let's just change the song name. Just, although it's not required, but let me just, it makes, it makes some sense. Uh, then this one is going to be Yuba. Okay, so we have four names we are trying to insert into the customer table. But the question is, where is the customer table? Where is the customer database? That is where it gets so interesting. So we created uh, customers. Now let's save it into the repository. Uh, we are going to use the repository, the customer repository, to save it. So we actually need to auto wire the repository into this uh, into this class. So I'm going to say at auto wired. I'm going to say private customer repository customer repository. Okay. So I've auto wired the customer repository into this class. So let's now use the customer repository to save these four customers and then we try to run this application. When this application runs, we, we are going to go back to check what whether it actually inserted and then I'm going to explain to you what, what actually happens. 
So I'm going to say um, customer repository.save and I'm going to give it C1. Okay. Okay. So I'm saving customer C1 and I'm going to also save the three other customers I have. So paste, paste, paste. So I'm going to save C1, I'm going to save C2, I'm going to save C3, and I'm going to save C4. Okay, so I'm going to save everything. So uh, am I missing out anything? Um, maybe I'll just print out all the customers. Uh, maybe. Uh, let me just print out some message that says customer saved. So I'm going to say system dot out dot print line um, system is out of print line we just put let me just put all uh, this here and let me just print out all the customers I'm gonna say for me just use a loop to loop through all the customer uh, let's see for I look through all the customer. I'm going to say for customer. Actually, you can use customer repository to find all to get it. But I can say for customer, cost, uh, customer C in customer repository. Or well, let me just make it easier. Let me just say list of customers. List of customers, uh, customers is equal to customer repository that finds all. Okay, list of customer customers is equal to customer repository that find all, and this comes from java.util at least. So uh, let's now look through all the customers and then print them out. So I'm going to say for for customer C in customers, right? For customer C in customers and then print. Uh, let's see system dot out dot print line. And then we are going to use the toString method to print out uh, the customer information. So I'm going to say C dot to string. All right. So it's going to just print out the, the, the to uh, use it to string to print out everything. So it's print to string says customer ID da 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 da. Print out everything. The ID, the first name, and the last name. All right. Hopefully everything should be fine. Um, hopefully I'm not missing out anything. Uh, oh. Okay, so I'm going to just run this and let's look at the command line to see if it works. And then we go to MongoDB to see if it actually works. So I'm going to right click on my MongoDB app and say run as and choose run as Spring Boot app. All right. So if everything goes perfectly well, you can see everything printed kind of. Uh, customer ID, Kainson, Manoye, Customer ID, Saffron, Edmila, Olienda was printed out. So everything actually worked as one. The question now is, was was the table created? Was this customer created in the database? Let's check. So I'm going to refresh. If I go to the test, you can see customer, right? Because this was not there. So if I open it now, you can see the data right here in JSON. Uh, the first the customer, the second, the third, and the last. So this is how to connect Spring Boot to, to MongoDB. Now in the next tutorial series, I'm going to now go uh, a little deeper. Uh, let's do a few crude operations to insert, update, delete, and, and, and select. For now, I'm going to stop here. Please uh, click, um, subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscribe button. And also do let me know if you have challenges following my lessons. I remain there for you, and I'm Kyneton Tech Pro.